this is Phil, and I'm here to tell you all about the Capes and Lunatics Patreon. Get early access to all of our interviews, including the monthly Chichester chats with writer and comic book legend DG Chichester, new episodes of classic Capes and Lunatics shows, including The Quantum Zone, This That or the Third, and many, many more specials, all completely uncensored. Access starts for $3 a month, or video when you pledge $5 a month. Check out the link in our show notes, or go to patreon.com slash capesandlunatics. Hope to see you there. Here we go, bub. That's right. We're back. Who dat? Well, she's a little bit salty. She's a whole lot of petty, and together with the Salty and Petty Podcast. Duh. Duh. That's right. As promised, we are late back. Night. I'm just gonna ah. tuck something to keep me awake. And I was gonna say, you have your uh, picture up. No, I mean, we'll help by our salty, not storm. Storm, storm is BA. No, she's salty and petty, too. Cyclops, I can't work. She keeps getting gaslit by Xavier Turner. She's not a goddess. She's a fucking goddess, bro. <laughs> exactly. All right, so. Yes, we can finally got our full season one of X Men 97, so. Seems like, um, I don't know. I don't know what took so long. It feels like it took longer than I thought it would. Oh, what, for the 10 episodes? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I guess because the last part was like a three parter. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because it was, yeah, like a three part story. Yep. And then also, like, Life Death had like a break in between it and had Remember It in between it. I'm just like, well, what, and then what the, are we doing? And the first part of Life Death, it was uh, like Storm was only maybe in half of it. The rest of it was that Jubilee uh, video game, yeah. which was my least favorite of the season. <gasps> How dare you! Nothing against Mojo. Ju- nothing Mojo against I know oh, nothing God. against Jubilee or Mojo, but I was it was that was like my it, it, it didn't seem to fit the rest of the season. They, ha- they had to give us Jubilee because the movies didn't. They forced us on a young Rogue and Wayne romance, so I think they're just trying to make it up to us. Honestly, well, technically Jubilee was in it, but they cut her scene, so I only go by what was on screen. I did see it. I, I think this boils it down perfectly. I saw someone was it on Twitter the other day saying. Yeah, for those of you people who don't read the comics and you always wonder why uh, us OG X-Men fans are, like, always, like, hate or, like, just, like, oh, no, no, the, the Fox X-Men, they're, like, see, this is what the X-Men can be. Yeah. This is what the X-Men are. This is how badass they can be. It was okay for what we had. It's just, you know, after the third third one, they kept making... Yeah. Not you, Logan. Not you, Logan. You're okay. But mm-hmm. everything that isn't Logan can go suck balls. <laughs> I mean, they do. Brian Singer... No, I'm joking. Well, not really. <laughs> anyway, let's get into it. Um, I think we only did the premiere, right? Which was like yeah, well, the it was, first two episodes. It was the first two, yeah. So I guess we can pick up with Fire Made Flesh. Um, it's a, um, it's 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 the Jean lookalike. Madeline Pryor the lookalike. <laughs> so so I guess we don't care who's who who's who has which memories because they seemed like they were going in that direction, like. Well, who is the phoenix and who is this? And well, well don't matter. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. But like, so Mr. Sinister is my least favorite like X Men bad guy. He's just so pretentious. And poor Morph. Why even? Why even give Morph a second chance? I feel like they haven't been doing enough with Morph. Was was Morph? Uh, I don't know. Was that their shot of saying, "Oh, look how woke we are"? He it, it it's they, not you know. <laughs> Everybody deserves to feel represented. But again, like for me, a lot of the stuff that they did, like say for instance, Naomi, it's like, um, it just feels disingenuous. <laughs> That's all. It's it's like, d- do better. It's just the research ch- a little more. Don't base it on Ezra Miller, please. And all Thank the you. and all the Easter eggs we got, especially with Morph, like when he would transform. So it's like, okay, so if he morphs into the Hulk, he gets the Hulk strength and everything. Okay. I don't think that's how that works technically. No, I, I mean, I okay. The, the, well, there was it this one that like he real quick he like turned into Mister Fantastic. Okay, I can get a shapeshifter can stretch. I'll give you that. Yeah. But Hulk, Hulk's strength. Yeah, it's um, I don't. Well, it's more of like based on Changeling technically or whatever. So I don't know. I guess, but I don't know. You can't think too bad about it. I know. Cause it'll drive you crazy. Mm-hmm. But yeah, this this episode was just like it's like you know it's got Nathan. No offense, that techno organic virus, and I'm just like, okay, cable, whatever. 
could have been worse. You could have had your favorite Nate Gray in love. So. I, I honestly God, I thought that's where we were going. I, I was waiting for it. I was like, <gasps> bait and switch though. And then Jean goes and confronts the freaking Goblin Queen telepathically, and I'm just like, nah. <laughs> That's the threesome I wanted. Oh my! <laughs> gobble gobble. Yeah, and then like the clone gives uh gives Nathan to the X Men like Bishop. Like I'm just like no. Nah. Yeah. Again, I mean, again, that's how. And then Ford shows up, of course. And I'm just like, okay, this is like all my favorite mutants, but at the in the wrong episode, <laughs> doing the wrong things here. I mean, it's like, oh, so this is why we have we ha- we had Bishop in the first couple episodes. Okay, plot yeah. device. Okay. And John Byrne somewhere cashing a check gleefully. Burnt? Right? What, for Bishop? Yeah. I don't... Th- uh, no, I don't think... Uh, Kenny X-Men run from the ni- like early 90s? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 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 you're right. But, yeah, I didn't think that was... Or was that Burn? I don't know. No. I'm, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, oh, options. <laughs> it's like, question me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Are you thinking Jim Lee and Scott Lobdell? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I guess when Bishop was John Byron, but maybe I'm tripping. Uh, alright, uh... Yeah, but, like, Mr. Sinister episodes, are, even in the original one, it was my least favorite thing, so... And so we get, like, how she gets the name Madeline Pryor, or whatever, and I'm just like, whatever. No one cares. You're, you're like... Not, you're, not ben, you're not Ben Riley. no one cares, okay? Oh, my. <laughs> no one cares. And then, like I said, again, Forge kind of introduces himself to Storm, he's like, hey, we're gonna restore your powers. I'm like, sweet peyote trip! Let's do it. Uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, episode four is like split in half technically, right? Because it's like Motendo and then Life Death Part One. Mm-hmm. I'm just like, I don't like any of that. Like, it's like just focus, babes. We only have a few episodes. Just focus on one thing. Well, I was gonna say, was that thing since we only had ten episodes? It was like, well, we gotta try. We want to try to squeeze this Jubilee in here, but we we need more it's time like, for babes, Life Death. If I have to pick between Storm and Jubilee. Obviously, I'm choosing Storm. Well, I think that's what most people would. Yeah, yeah. It's like Julie getting a kiss from Roberto. Okay, whatever. That yeah. could have been a post credit scene. I don't care. Oh, freaking sunspot. Even though I love Jubilee. Yeah. I made you have a whole month about it. <laughs> I know. Oh, I love I know. Jub- Jubilee's great. Uh, I don't but know. It's like not in the middle of everything that's going on. Exactly. That was my point. <laughs> Okay, you were right. Uh, yes, uh, Bishop uh, Uncanny X Men 282. Yes, written by John Byrne and Wills Portacio. Yes. Just saying, it is one of my favorite X Men characters. I think I know. <laughs> I know. I, I just I I knew the, I knew the run, but I just couldn't remember the writer because I think Byrne wasn't there that long. Yeah, he wasn't there that long. Yeah. What a shock! <laughs> All right, kids, listen and listen closely. Will of Hellfire was right. I don't see the man puppet out. Well, that was Phil Parrot <laughs> saying it, not Charlie Esser. I know. Get your own Phil puppet. Uh, I'll leave that to Danielle. Good job, mansplaining, young man. <laughs> Boys are in the negative. Boys are in the negative today. Oh, my. <laughs> That's right, because anyway. we're wearing pants. Ugh, tyranny of pants. Well, speak for yourself. Oh, my. <laughs> you know, sometimes it's nice not being on camera. Just saying. Oh, my. <laughs> Um, anyway, so yeah, I, I feel like four was the weakest, unfortunately, just because they split it. It's like, I would have yeah. loved a Jubilee episode, and it's our 18th birthday, and what that means, our parents are shit. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I think that one was the weakest, yeah, just because they split the focus. Yeah. I mean, it's a cool concept with the yeah. arcade game and stuff, but it's like, not right now, baby. Not right now. <laughs> yeah, I know. Especially, especially, like, if you, you only got ten episodes, like, again, if you, this would have been in the 90s, and you had, like, at least 20 some episodes yeah i'd say yeah go for it uh executioner's radio that's all i have to say <laughs> execution like that damn owls the adversary I'm like god damn it not the adversary <laughs> well you knew life death you, you knew the yeah, adversary is coming yeah obvious Ugh. it's like can we can we just do some um subverted expectation <laughs> i know I know. Well, that's the other thing. People were kind of bitching because, you know, now the X-Men are going to be in the MCU. They're like, why are they burning through all these plot? Why is X-Men 97 and 10 episodes burning through all these plot uh, plot well, sto- storylines? Well, you, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know how true it is what, um, what um, Hugh Jackman said about Deadpool and that it's a different continuity from Logan because they didn't want to disrespect the or whatever. Yeah. So, I mean, it doesn't matter. 
Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Was it Feige or somebody? They were somebody who was. They were in talks with somebody who like was really on the fence about letting him come back because they're like, oh, Logan was such a good ending for him and stuff. Yeah, and... he didn't want to come back because of that. So they, I think they told him that, but I don't think it's true. Uh, I think that's just a head camp. Honestly, they should have just named it Deadpool Kills Fox's uh, Marvel Universe. I swear to God, instead of Deadpool 3, it... I'm just saying. I mean, we can just do whatever the hell we want to do. I mean, it's in the trailer. They should have just been like Deadpool co- kills the fox. No, no, Deadpool Marvel Jesus. That's what <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, basically, we'll see though. Like, I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see what the fans want to do. There's like some slow burn about people not really wanting to go to Marvel more. So we'll see how much they really mean it when Deadpool and Wolverine are in the same movie. Together. Again, yeah, it's Deadpool. We'll see how much they mean it. It's Deadpool and Wolverine. Again, it's yeah, Hugh Jackman and uh As long Ryan as Reynolds. we get written look look, no offense to, to Brie Larson. Like my Rambo and freaking Little Miss Marvel, they can stay. But Brie Larson's Captain Marvel's gotta go. It's got she's gotta go. We got Rogue all I'm saying, we got Rogue. We don't need her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we don't need her. There we go. Some accident kills her and gives Rogue that flying, of, you know, her abilities. Yes. I don't know. What, I mean, it. I mean, why do live action when you can do the animated and actually do things like without that kind of budget and pressure? Like, I don't get why we need X Men to be live action. We can do animated movies. If Batman animated series can do a way back then. Because it's a it's because it's a big franchise, you know, that's that's the one everyone's but been it's waiting so for. It's so stupid to do X Men live action, bro. It's so stupid. I just wish we could have did it. You're never gonna nail it. You're ne- I don't care how much money they throw at it, which by the way, Disney has um slashed the budget over at Marvel. A lot of things have been going away oh, at the my. Marvel Studios. Really? So we yeah we were like I, I don't know how I mean I don't know if you know but like we were lucky to get X Men ninety seven they didn't even want to do the animation studio huh. so we were lucky and then, but like with the failure of everything else they were like well what the hell do we have to lose yeah and uh, I mean this is probably probably the best and then you look they... at Invincible doing so good and stuff yeah. like that and they're like well maybe yeah yeah let's let's keep it around and see what it does and it's been doing gangbusters it's literally the only reason well again Hulu is the thing. Hulu and e- e- ESPN Plus, like, I do not have that bundle for yeah. Disney. But I, I, I don't ever watch it except for this. But X-Men 97, I mean, that that it did perform very strong. It's, it's probably their, what, best performer in a while, right, Marvel-wise? In a while. Yeah. I mean, outside, like, The Mandalorian, yeah, probably. <laughs> but I mean, for more, just for Marvel in general, it's, it's yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, I don't know. Like, I, I'm glad that they actually got their heads out of their butts <sighs> and did it. Oh, is like, that, oh, I just don't need live action. I feel like they're going to yeah. fuck it up again. Oh, is that why they cut? Oh, is that why they did uh, born, Daredevil Born Again now nine episodes instead of 18? Yep, big old budget cuts. Somebody put the screws to Kevin Feige. Like, sorry, bud, you failed. You got four flops in a row. You're done. You got so, some oversight now. You're not the golden boy anymore. So then I guess they did the upfronts and stuff because then now I see they're like, oh, yeah, don't worry. Ironheart's still coming in 2025. And I was like, yeah. No one cares and nobody asks for it. Like, listen, no tea, no shade. Love me some Riri. Doesn't need to be, again, another character that doesn't need to be live action. Should have been an animated. And again, if it's the, if it's the difference between. All the port- tech involved, like, just make it an animated. And I'm sorry. Put that on hold and give me more episodes of Daredevil. <laughs> Eh, we'll see. Oh my god! I, then... I heard the reshoots aren't aren't that great. Oh, and then so I... they're just trying to cut their losses at this point. And then I saw the uh, people speculating because I don't know Kristen Ritter was seen out somewhere with purple hair, and everyone was like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> or they might just be paying her to do a publicity stunt to get people to watch. Who knows at this point? True. Or maybe she's cut from some of the stuff that they decided they didn't want to do. Who knows? It won't work unless they bring in Agents of Shield. <laughs> Oh, let's pretend like that now. F in the chat for Charlie, but let's pretend oh. like it's a show never happened. Oh, oh. Damn com- glorified commercials. Like, it- it's giving He-Man. It's giving G.I. Joe. Oh, my. Since Charlie's gone, I can talk shit about Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. <laughs> I guess. Hate that fucking show. Whoa! I- oh, like, God bless you if you stuck around for that whole mess, but, like, if it, if it takes you 16 episodes to get good in season one, I'm I'm not sticking around. If you're not good by the third episode, I'm out of here. Even even Gun from freaking Angel couldn't get me to stick around. Okay? No. <laughs> and I uh, love me some Augustus Richards, okay? Yeah. But anyway, um, so Life Duff Part 2, finally, I think is where it really kicks up, get, gets into gear. Um, we're in space. 
our, our lovely space pirates, Sans, uh, Na- uh, the Summer's Boy's dad. Oh, yes, Corsair, yes. And I'm just like, oh, okay, we're, we're doing the Kree Empire, that's fine. Pirates are in space. We we finally have to have that whole, oh, guess what? That, yes, that is your father. Now you know that's your father. <laughs> yeah, it's giving Bendis a little bit, but okay. Oh, damn. Well, I mean, it, that's been baked in for- Death can go suck a big one, okay? Like, I hate that. Mm-hmm. Death Bird, I hate it, I hate it. I hate everything about it. the astral plane, everything. I hate it. It's stupid. It's like, I love the Kree, right? But like, mm, Leandra just, mm, I just, I don't know. Oh, the she are her? Mm. Yeah. It's uh, like, that whole war is stupid. It's like, um, technically, I just want to, be, I didn't want to be that person. I'm just like. Oh, my God. Don't get me started on the she are, uh. That, with that whole char, with that whole Professor X episode, yeah, 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 you could roll with me. Yeah, yeah, they they just wanted to, to wipe your mind because yeah, you'll be the same guy I fell in love with if we completely wipe your mi- memories and your mind. Yeah, she's like, I just need the legs and dick to work. That's it. Whoa, <laughs> that's all. That's why we're wiping your memory. It's psychosomatic. It's a little no, hellfire about. story. Exactly. It's like gotta gotta work it from the ways down. I don't really care what's what's in your brain, bro. A clean slate. A clean slate. Oh my! <laughs> Come on, Xavier is a pretentious a hole, and we all know it. Well, yeah, that's why she really wanted to do it. <laughs> but like, Forge has a spell, a mother's spell book, and I'm just like, okay, we're doing an exorcism, okay. And now we're looking for a rare cactus. Nice, okay. <laughs> I know, like, really? Give it, it's getting really? worse. What though? <laughs> but she at least she did get her powers. Yeah. Well, you knew it was gonna happen. I just, <clears throat> I'm like, oh, I'm like, at least they didn't drag it out too long. Yeah, um, but remember, it was just, I, I watched it, like, I, I just, I, I, I watched after episode six, because I was just like, I'm just going to die, <laughs> but right now I got to get to the nitty gritty, um, but like, oh, what were we, like, why are we doing the, ca- oh, God, it's just a mess. What? I hate it. When freaking um, that, like, when Wolverine gets the kiss, and I'm just like, yuck. <laughs> I just, I've never understood that whole relationship. I hate it so much. What what relationship? Gene and Wolverine. Oh, yeah, I know. I know. I don't understand. He's it. like a stalker. I mean It's like babes, clearly she's happy with her stupid, stupid Cyclops. Like let the boy have something. It's the only thing he has in his life. His brother hates him, his dad hates him, his son hates him. I mean even the clone left him. So <laughs> I, I mean, come on, love. You can't throw stones. She loves this stupid pretty boy. Come on. Mm, that's being generous. Oh. Yeah, he's a, uh, listen, being a ginger is a boy. Sorry. Sorry. It just doesn't work the same in most people's cases as it is for being a ginger woman. It just doesn't. Oh, sorry. my. It's one, of, it's, one of those, it's one of those few things women have over men. <laughs> let, it, let, let the ginger women have it, okay? Oh, my. I, just, I don't know. I don't. I've never understood what Gene sees in Scott, but like he's a puppet for her. I've just always assumed. Oh, they have. They have so badly. They're written. toxic. Bro. They they have I'm destroyed sorry. his character over the last like thirty years at least. I, yes, I like in original. Comics. Yeah, original Cyclops, but we haven't seen that boy in literally decades. So I mean, they have so badly damaged him. So, uh, God, it. Uh, ex- since Jean's His daddy issues since, are terrible. Since Jean's first death, they've really <laughs> uh, exactly. That was that was like I that that left me. Well, well, that's the thing too. That's what damaged him is like when he, you know, when he was married to Madeline in the comics. Then he just left her and the baby, you know, because Jean's back. Because I think what was it? Um, You're not the real Jean. Well, Claremont. Well, originally, I don't think Claremont was gonna wasn't gonna bring her back. But then when they did X Factor, they they were gonna put Dazzler in there. And then they're like, now nah, let's just bring Jean back. Yeah. So we had to. I mean, no tea, no shade to Dazzler. I like Dazzler. She has a time and place. But yeah, I just, I've never understood that relationship. And it's just whatever. Well, like, poor Gambit. Yes, but as we said, did you see the, um, that like mid credit scene at the end of, of the course. last episode? Because yeah. Channing said I probably wrote an angry letter. <laughs> He's like, how dare you? Well, I knew, I, you knew somehow something was going to happen, either time yeah. travel or I'm like, that Gambit's not going to stay now. I would, I would have been shooketh. <laughs> Death. Shooketh. Like, no. But can we... But like, it's like Xavier could have stayed in space. Like, I honestly, I hate Xavier so... Modern Xavier just sucks balls. I, I just... Ugh. Stay in space with your, your weird bird lady, okay? Like, I, I don't care. Because he... Magneto's got this, bro, okay? Because especially, like, in the comics, he can't go more than, what, five years? And that's being generous without, like, being a dick and, like, betraying everybody? Yeah. 
Like honestly, just let Magneto do it, bro. Like that that whole that whole Magneto storyline got wiped away. Way no, too soon, let, by the way, let Cyclops, let Storm run the school. I mean, it, they're not children. He thinks of them. I know. I know. He's can, a creep, and I'm just over it. I'm over his behavior. Can we agree one of the best characters was Nightcrawler? Obviously. I was like, justice for Nightcrawler? Yes. Love that for him. Mm-hmm. I hope we, ah, I hope I see some Nightcrawler cosplays. You know what? I mean, did you see that? I mean, they're running down a list. That, I mean, they're putting out a, you know, it's starting in the summer. They're putting out a bunch of, like, uh, solo X books. Like, again, Jean Grey, Storm. I saw Dazzler. I'm here for it. <gasps> Nightcrawler times Daredevil. We I need, need that. We need a we need a Nightcrawler book. I mean, I, again, congratulations to all the all the female characters getting books, but give us a Nightcrawler book. Come on. Yeah, I, I feel like they overlook Nightcrawler a lot. It's like he's like such an interesting character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although I think they probably do want to stay away from Nightcrawler right now because of the whole controversial. Yes, yeah, two thing. mommies. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Which was. Allegedly, I don't even know anymore. Um, yeah, supposedly that was Claremont's plan. original plan. You, yeah. I'm like Claremont. You didn't even start doing peyote and anawaska until like tw- 20, 2019 or something. Like I'd stop it. <laughs> or whenever he started that damn, whenever Krakoa happened, that's when he started doing the the, the, the bad drugs. He that <laughs> fried his brain. <laughs> he smoked so much he told his past self his plan. Smoke exactly. Juby. <gasps> He's time traveler. Oh, <laughs> nice. Um, yeah. But, uh, but do you do that to to my Gamby? Um, <laughs> Rogue's all, like, um, pissed off in episode seven. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She got, uh, Captain America. She, uh, Trask was getting there, bro. I'm like, uh-oh. <laughs> I don't want to run at her in a dark alley. And then we freaking get, uh, Thunderbolt Ross. And I'm like, oh, no, that only means one thing. And sure enough, there he went. Captain America. Oh. Oh God! But they're uh, in Mexico, so you know they took in a donkey show. So I have I have that for my head cannon. And I don't care if it's animated or live action. I'm fine, or even comics. I'm fine. You can kill uh, Gyrick anytime, Henry Gyrick anytime. Of course. What? No. <laughs> Sorry, it is cannon fodder summer, baby. That's right. All cannon fodder can get it. Shot straight off the cannon. Oh my! <laughs> Damn, I need a cannon sound effect. Oh God. It just, I hate trash too. It's just like, yeah, can we let the Sentinels... Like, the Sentinels haven't even really been a thing in a really long time. Yeah, but again, we were setting up for the... For, again, for the three-parter at the end of the season with uh, Bastion. Ugh, which, I, I was wondering how they were going to do that without uh, the Siege Perilous. Yeah. Because, spoilers, kids, yes, he is a combination of Mastermind and uh, <laughs> Nimrod. Oh, well, yeah, in episode seven, they tried to say that Magneto was presumed dead in the... Uh, in the attack, and I'm just like, no, I don't think so. Hmm. Surprise, bitch! He's my prisoner too. <laughs> yeah, it's that, that's that's like, that's it's that easy to take out an Omega level mutant. Okay. I mean that honestly, they were so generous with that that term. Like, I know, I know. Magnetism. Unless you're Wolverine, are you really that fucking worried about it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as he as we, as he showed, I mean, he could uh, black out the entire planet. I mean, sure. His old ass, sure. You're the, aren't you the one that told me magnets keep you young or something? <laughs> Allegedly. Again, mutant genes. Uh, that they need to throw that in the canon if they haven't already. Where it's like, yeah, mutant genes age slower than normal human genes. No, they just wear sunscreen. Oh. <laughs> there's their Capitone, you know, uh, sponsor. Either that, or you know, <clears throat> we're gonna find out he like cloned himself a young body. Oh God. Oh God. Oh we- no. 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 Superior Magneto, please no. no oh no no no, please, no no. Well no, I kept thinking that the after this last episode, I'm like, oh god, because you know when Xavier He's really Pietro. Change my mind. Well when, well, when Xavier's in his mind, I was like, oh god, we're not doing you don't remember? Oh, Ma- stop. Remember stop. no remember in the nineties when the, everyone thought oh Magneto was back in younger and had and he had amnesia but it turned out to be his clone, Joseph. Yeah. yeah, I thought we were going there. I was like, oh god. Not yet. We're not we're not gonna blow our load totally. Whoa! <laughs> We we got a, I think we got greenlit for three seasons, so uh, we'll see how the expenses of anim- animation, cost of animation, yeah. is going. Up. Well, uh, yeah, I don't. I think they should just do it in house and not out house. You know, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no out house kids. So that, that's my personal opinion. Yeah. So. And then the minute Xavier had Magneto's helmet on, everyone was like, oh, "Onslaught is Onslaught coming?" Oh God! 
No, please. I, ju- I just barely got over that. I know. 30 years ago, yes. Yeah. Just be- it's it's almost a I mean, Snickers ad at this point. I mean, uh, the, I mean, there is precedent. That and Heroes Reborn. That, that was the genesis of it when, you know, spoilers. I mean, when Xavier. It's not spoilers. It's been. Well, when he goes in the, you know, tries to shut down Magneto's mind and stuff. Yeah, that was. You know, two lovers quarreling. It's never nice. It. It, it was giving, uh, if you're a Harry Potter fan, it was giving the Dumbledore, <laughs> the Dumbledore fight at the end of the last freaking um, Fantastic Beast. <laughs> Lovers quarrel, can't kill each other. Sorry. Oh my. Um, but yeah, I didn't need three parts. I feel like it didn't need three parts to tell this story. Also, Talos is, ex- is extinction. Um, don't be giving people ideas. I know. Wow. <laughs> Not the time for that title, bud. Read the freaking room. And then, of course, part three is like all about like a freaking Wolverine being injured and. Well, yeah, well, yeah. At the end of episode nine, yeah, Magneto ripped the adamantium out of him. Yeah, but at least we did get some uh, like and Beast kind of low key the v- v- VIP the OG of the season. Mm. Like, I, I like this version of Beast a lot. Yeah, they gave him something to do actually, and then hang upside down in the intro, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I just want, yeah. So are we are we going with the girlfriend Trish Tilby reporter? Because yeah, that there is precedent there too. Yeah. And, like, how dare you give me a make credit scene? How dare you? What at the at the end of the last one? Yeah, it's just Gambit playing cards. What? <laughs> he pulls the way he pulls out the playing card from the wreckage. It's Gambit. It's just like whatever, dude. I don't. I knew he. Wasn't oh, I didn't know that was. Yeah, Ga- I didn't think that was Gambit. I thought it was somebody else. Okay. Oh, I thought it was. I thought it was Apocalypse. Oh yeah, but I'm saying that's the yeah. that's the teaser. Like, well, oh yeah, he's alive. Yeah, it's gonna be one of the horsemen. Yes. Oh no. <clears throat> also, did we need the mother encounter? I'm just like, oh. <laughs> like the the whole desolate future thing, and I'm just like, bro, we already live in a dystopian society where freaking well, wildfires and climate change is ravaging everything. Please, I don't need this well, right now. Well, the well, the minute he uh, Cable mentions when he was like, growing up in the future, this I'm like, oh god, we're doing it, Slim and Red. I'm like, we're going, uh, boys. Pack your bags. I'm like, we're, but it's so funny because at, at the end, everyone else gets thrown into the past except Scott and Gene. They get thrown into the future. Everyone else is thrown into the past. It's because nobody wanted to be around Scott and Gene. They're they're insufferable. There I say. <laughs> somebody had to say it. Oh my! It was, like, it, it was it was giving. Put them in a pocket universe. Thanks. <laughs> Uh, they've wreaked havoc they're almost as bad as freaking having given birth to freaking i won't say it every, Franklin every is fine everyone else nathan is and Franklin richards are the same person different font they said it what i freaking said it who franklin who franklin richards franklin richards is such a ba oh so yeah is it bad at his job oh <laughs> how dare you <laughs> Same person, different font. So, Sorry. so yeah. Well, Scott and Gene are in the future. Everyone else is, is back in uh, ancient Egypt, and everyone's gonna have to hold Wolverine back. To we could kill Apocalypse now. <laughs> it's like babes. It's the Hitler theory. Just sleep alone. Exactly. But yeah, I think my favorite of the three was actually probably the first part where we're dealing with the UN revealing that mm. uh, Xavier's alive and all the anti-mutant protests. I'm like, bro, that is so timely because there's a ton of protests on campuses right now. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, do you see there? Do you see uh, people were booing and walking out when Jerry Seinfeld spoke at some uh, university? Yeah, he's he's out of touch. <laughs> oh yeah, he, I mean, is it his 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 wife's like the same age, right? Oh, <laughs> uh, I mean, isn't isn't he become one of those ones? Oh, woke is killing comedy. <laughs> it's like babes, you were not what? He has no room to talk about comedy right now. Okay. Also, he's in a fucking movie called Unfrosted. Like, okay, I can't take you seriously anymore, Jerome. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jerome. Yeah, the government name. <laughs> oh. That's when it's serious. <laughs> but yeah, so, uh, but then again, X-Men, because because of the subject matter, the the, the thinly veiled allusion to the subject matter, it's always going to be timely, but like. Yeah, unfortunately. It's yeah. hitting home, bud. It's hitting home. I, right I, I defor- <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. Uh, duh. It's always yeah, but the two parter is just like everybody's pissed at Xavier. They're like, oh, whatever. And Magneto's like, you sure you want me to reverse the black guy? You sure? <laughs> no, not even. <laughs> Xavier's like, I'm gonna take the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, yeah. 
Mer Island. I'm just like, oh, I hate it. I hate it so much. Why, Rubik Tiger? <laughs> yeah. Galapagos. I was like, leave the Galapagos Islands alone. <laughs> and then just all the all the all the quick uh, two second uh, blink and you miss some cameos. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, cloak and dagger, uh, daredevil. <laughs> I know. I was like, that's cute. Cap, Cap and Iron Man. They actually put Iron Man in the right armor. It's the armor he was wearing in his mini, I mean, his animated series at the time. Oh, he had an animated series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't, I didn't know. That. There was like, oh god, was it only two seasons? Or, I mean, the one was, was it right around the time that Iron Man had his show too? Then probably. What? Yeah. Um. Uh, wait. But I don't. I don't ever remember seeing. It. Well, I'm not a Captain America person. Probably came on and I just blocked it. Well, from no, memory. like in the mid '90s, there was like. Um, well, they always played it in, like, syndication. Oh, God, I only caught it. It was, like, early, like, Sunday mornings or something. It was, like, a Fantastic Four, and there was an Iron Man. Yeah, I remember the Iron Man one. And yeah. I remember the Fantastic Four. I just didn't know that there was a Captain America one. Oh, no, no, no. There was no, uh, no. Uh, no, there wasn't. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, I would have hate-watched that and talked shit about it and streamed it on Twitter way back in the day. I, I didn't think of it. Oh, I know it's like one from like the sixties or something. That's real cringe. Oh yeah, yeah, they're, they're, real, uh, pro- real war propaganda type shit. Well, so. you know what? It, you know what it was. The one from the sixties. Yeah, there was a Captain America. There's an Iron Man. There was a Thor, Hulk, and I believe Namor. And all yeah, they all they awesome. did is like they took they took them the panels right from the comics, and like they might just be like, oh, Captain America's throwing his shield. All they're moving is his arm. The rest of them is just standing still. It's like, oh, God, classic, classic sixties. <laughs> And you know, overall, and you know, I do want to shout out the X-Men um, writers room. I, there's top to bottom. They're great. Phenomenal. Yes. Love it. Keep up the good work. Yes. Um, I'm waiting. Ugh, I, I need them to reissue a lot of stuff. We need merch. Yes. Yes. I mean, I said, I saw, I mean, they put out some like toys and stuff, but I like it. We need more. Uh, and I saw shirts, not necessarily for the animated series. We need more like. Any actual at the on the Disney store or the Marvel store, whatever the hell it is gonna be, I need it on that store. I need authentic merch. When I open up the tag, I need it to say Marvel. I don't need it to say Haynes or Gideon or whatever else people are doing on their little red bubbles and uh, you know, T Publix. Go buy our merch. Um, our, our merch is T Publix, right? I got that right, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's the other thing. I saw T Public was having a big sale on like a bunch of superhero shirts. Yeah, I, I saw that. Too. They were like under five bucks, I think. Oh, that's good. And I thought I saw Five Below had a few things too. If you're lucky enough to have a Five Below. Oh, you don't have Five Below. No, I do, but it's never Five Below. It's always that Five Below Plus, and I'm like, does that mean less? Why is it more? I know. I think ours is a five below. And I, meanwhile, I, was, I saw online. I thought it's it's there for like fifty dollars. I'm like, let me get. Whoa! My here. No, I think ours is a five. And it's like now Dollar Tree has like the three dollars, the five dollars. I'm like, babes, I'm yeah. not. Listen, you're lucky. I'm still there when it's a dollar and a quarter. You're lucky. And they're saying they're going up to a dollar seventy five. Like, babes, read the room. Exactly. We're in a recession. Whoever can do the best prices, man, you're gonna get the business. Looks like Aldi's gonna be carrying us through this recession, kids. Aldi, please sponsor us. Oh, they got they got some good dupes at Aldi. I'm just I'm just letting you know. Oh, great! Aldi sponsors us. Then, uh, anytime we go online, I'm gonna have to put a nickel in my screen here, or a quarter. Sorry. <laughs> and you always pass it forward, guys. That's Don't be right. That person. They let listen. I love Aldi's because they let their freaking cashier sit down. You yes. know why? Because they're not an American based store. Oh. They don't believe that retail workers have to suffer. Nice. Yeah. Anyway, um, overall, pretty solid season. Mm-hmm. Um, couple things here and there. I'm just like, I felt like it was too soon for a lot of this stuff. Yeah, I'd say if anything, they were trying to do too much. I can't believe much. they blew their load on a lot of this. Stuff. Whoa! I know that's I know that's what people were saying. They're like, we did so many plot lines already. It's like, what do you, you know? I mean, the best 90s stuff. So it's like, I don't want to see no Claremont shit, bro. I don't want to see no damn impossible plant X-Men. You better figure uh, it out. Ah, no Krakoa stuff, huh? No, I, I hope they ban Krakoa because the, the sales were just dwindling, 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 bro. Obviously, nobody's interested. Well, again, so. I mean, uh, how long was the, how long we did they... We went back to the beginning. This is the whole thing. Like, as much as I love my X-Men from the 90s and that this is the, the sequel show, I think we should have went back to the beginning. That way we would have had more, you know, stuff to mine. Yeah. 
Maybe, th- maybe, yeah, maybe start over. Maybe like do- we already did the she. Oh my god, we're like you know, you know what I mean. Like, come on, bro. Yeah, maybe they should have started over the first two episodes. Maybe do those original five, and then just like jump the giant size X Men number one. Yeah, that, that's my only complaint. It's like we're blowing through so much good story. Like it's okay when you blow through bad story. Yeah, like, you're blowing through good iconic stuff, and it's like. Stuff that they messed up in the movies that needed to be addressed. Yeah. Age of Apocalypse, looking at you. Um, okay. New Mutants, looking <clears throat> at you. Okay, here's a question. If they add any new characters for season two, who do you want to see? Uh, I'll just, I'll be a fan, I'll, I'll, I'll be a fangirl and say Kitty Pride. Oh, okay. I don't really mean it, but I'll, I'll throw y'all a bone. Okay. Well. But I'm, I'm going to need Colossus. Colossus is a good pick, too. Um, that's pretty much it. Those are the only two I really, I really feel like. Well, keep those two separated, obviously, but. but... <laughs> <laughs> and I just want, I, I do want an actual good Jubilee episode where she gets some action and not just, you know. Whoa. <clears throat> how about, yeah, how about the, how about an old, uh, either Jubilee or if we do get Kitty Pride, X, Professor X is a jerk. <laughs> yes. Yes. I don't know. Is it too late for Kitty Pride? Because again, it's like. Would they make her younger than Jubilee, or they can be the same age? Yeah, I'm. Sur- you know, I would love to see a Storm spinoff where they be Adrian, and then it's just her and Gambit. Uh, <laughs> well, I, I want to see some spinoffs, or just like little mini series and stuff. Like, yeah, there you go. I feel like that could be big. If I, I know, I know, like I said, I know X Men '97 is holding the whole damn Disney Plus. I know. <laughs> together, I know. so like we need to do so- like, but don't don't wear out the welcome either, though. You know mm. what I mean? I think How? think about like what Invincible did with the Adam Eve special. I think that if we yes. did something like that in yes. between to was... keep the interest high, we we could we could really be doing we could really be cooking with Chris. Goes. I mean, you could spin off so much stuff too. I mean, I thought oh, Sunspot's here. Are we like I said, I would love Rogue and Gambit just to have their own. Yes, but I'm like with Sunspot, are we going to get the New Mutants or X Force? Or I mean, we had X Factor back in the original series, and we're going to get yeah. Forge was in there. Come on. I feel like that's why they didn't introduce Forge, so maybe. Mm-hmm. And plus with Deadpool, because I heard that they had a no Deadpool rule that they couldn't put him in the anime. That's I did see that headline where they said that's the only character they told them they could not touch was Deadpool. But we could still have X Factor, and I'm just like, well, Forge would be a good introduction, as you know what I mean? Yeah, because he was working with them in the '90s series. Yeah, I thought yeah. that. I thought that's definitely was going to happen, especially when Corsair shows up. I thought at least Havoc was going to show up or something. That's next season, I think. Maybe. You know what? I think they might even do Angel next season. Wow. They might give that a whirl again. Well, yeah, especially if uh, Apocalypse is messed with Horsemen and stuff. Yeah, yeah maybe. that's what I'm thinking, yeah. That might be a back burner. That might be the, like, the last three <laughs> episodes of season two, though. So Yeah. But I definitely feel like I, I feel like we definitely will probably get Angel. So. Or they kind of like blew through them in like an episode or so in the 90s. But it's like, we could do like a Shadow King like season arc. Ooh, I like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I think I, I don't. I mean, not obscure, but like also not run to death, like a apo- you know. Yeah, not not scary. Magneto, not Apocalypse. Yeah. Yeah. What's and, more, and not the Shiari. Either. <laughs> we, don't, we don't need Phoenix Force. <laughs> we don't need none of that. Okay. How about to help us get clicks and views? How about the Hellfire Club? Yes, I would love that. Although we- Stranger Things too, so I don't know. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't watch Stranger Things, but I see their merch at Walmart all the time. And I'm like, what is the Hellfire? I'm like, that. that it, how is Marvel not suing them? Yeah, and that's just a generic term now. I don't know if, if so, I can do it. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, you could put out merch. Come on. I, I, I already, I'm already tempting, tempting my time with um thinking about buying Silver Sable International. So I don't, I don't want to be on the radar any more than I have. To oh, be. nice. <laughs> I mean, I guess we could do the Hellf- they could do the Hellfire Club and not call it the Hellfire Club, maybe? Yeah. Because I was going to say, how about some Emma Frost next season? I would love some Emma Frost, actually. Mm-hmm. We, we, I mean, we need, we need somebody to put Xavier in his, in his place. I so. mean, yeah, Kirsten. Ab- absolutely, Emma. It could create and, some tension know. between Scott and Jean. <laughs> yeah. Emma Frost spinoff. I would actually love that so much. Yeah. Uh. Oh. There's a great Emma Frost um, comic they could adapt to. So, and if we're doing like uh, kind of love interest and stuff, you know, you know who we could use Cable to introduce Domino. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. I would love that a lot. Oh, but then like also, uh, we could do like the joke. It could be Emma Frost and Iron Man. <laughs> oh, jeez. Too soon. Now, I mean, that kind of <laughs> spins out of the Krakoa stuff. So, I mean, careful what you wish for. 
without the Krakoa, though. We don't need that context. Uh, man, I can't. But like I said, it was like, I think her miniseries was like um, from 2003 to like early 2004 or whatever. That is actually a pretty good solid run that they could do for like a limited series. Throwing out ideas. Call me. I have a spec script. Call me. <laughs> but yeah, when everyone was screaming Onslaught online, I was like, whoa, are they going to bring in other MC- like Marvel characters? Because it took more than the X-Men to take down Onslaught. I think we should get more animated shows. It took the Avengers. I think the, it makes sense. It took the Avengers and the Fantastic Four sacrificing good storylines. Listen, no tea, no shade. The best stories of Fantastic Four, even with the best budget, it's going to be ninety-seven percent green screen, so it's going to be shit. Oh, do an animated show. Burn. Well, no, I mean, yeah, on the animated uh, X Men. As a matter of fact, I don't know why they even bother with live action again. They should have done Daredevil as an animated show. I mean, street level character is a little easier to do, but yeah. Yeah. Although nobody's street level anymore. It's like that power creep. It's like babes. You're fighting demons. I get you're yeah. a priest. Yeah. I get it. Well, but like there's some poverty that we can take care of right here on the corner. Well, that's what I said. Like back in the, even in the 90s and stuff, <clears throat> Batman was more street level. And then all of a sudden, oh, now we're fighting evil robots and aliens. And it's just like, we're enough. in space, baby. Exactly. <laughs> it's like, that's not the bat plane. That's the bat space jet. Oh. Batman, my favorite character. So yeah, I mean the X Men of technically, I feel like the first like when you first start reading X Men stuff tends to be grounded, and then it gets blown way out of proportion. Like it happens every single time. It's like they bring them back to a reset point, and then not, not even slowly. It's like six six issues later, they're in space fighting space pirates. Uh, the whole universe is at stake. Galactus is, is having a temper tantrum or something. M. You know. Cron Crystal. <laughs> exactly. So it's just like, ugh. Just keep it. I, and I think they're afraid to keep it kind of ground and like just like the protests and the political stuff just because they don't want to turn people off. But yeah. I think that is the best drama for X Men where it's really a truly personal stake. Mm-hmm. How about how about some Savage Land? Well, they were kind of hinting at it when Rogue was feeling really sympathetic toward Magneto. Uh-huh. So I think that's definitely coming, but I don't know. Hey, um, shout out to that us. <laughs> so shout out to that statue. <laughs> I'll find it. Keep talking. <laughs> yeah, again, I mean, you get some Savage Land costumes here. Come on, kids. Uh, oh, so but season two, are they going to call it X-Men 98? Oh, oh, I hope not. They're just gonna keep it X Men ninety seven. I think so. I can't hear it. I'm trying to think of other good stuff they could cover. Uh, that hasn't been covered to death before. Yeah, yeah. Just from the comics. I mean, I mean, we could do flashbacks of like how they how they met Gambit or whatever. You know. Yeah, I I definitely feel like Gambit deserves a spinoff, or him and Rogue deserve a spinoff. I I feel like Gambit is kind of like overlooked lately. Mm, for yeah. a long time actually I yeah I, I think i think i think gambit's character suffered from krakoa yeah oh yeah hubba hubba <laughs> savage land road kids <laughs> yeah i think savage land was actually a pretty cool storyline they kind of tried to do it um in the end of the series but it, they kind of just glossed over it well yeah i mean what was that the end of season one or something back in the day yeah yeah it was it was magneto and xavier i'm like i don't need to see that <laughs> Oh, I know who they need that for season two. Let's uh, throw our good friend Justin a bone. Uh, Psylocke, one of his favorite characters. Oh, you, yeah. I would like that, actually. Hold on. This is a better picture. Oh, God. Come on, string guards. Keep your issues to yourself. <laughs> really? I was going to say, I know it's. I know when I logged on, it said they were having issues because there was a high amount of traffic. Like, I don't know. Oh, this wow. is the better figure of it. Oh, That's my. So, yeah. Anyway, I, I, I would be down for that, needless to say. Um... But yeah, I, I'm proud of them. I'm, I'm really happy that this was a hit. Uh, it, it, could, it couldn't have been, a, even if it was terrible, it wouldn't have been a flop. People would have still been watching because it it's X-Men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I think that the fact that uh, we have all those terrible live action X-Men movies is a testament to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, and it's, yeah. And listen, people McAvoy's will. trilogy is better than all the other ones. I Don't fight with me, fight with your mama. I don't know what to tell you. Oh my, I mean, I, I'll agree with and that. And those storylines were terrible. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> they were still the better of. They but they, the but they learned from some of their mistakes from their original trilogy. Yeah. It's like, oh, let's not have Beast actually be Beast. 
Uh, but the yeah. whole Beast and Mystique things are the only real sticking yeah. points for me for those particular. But yeah, people would have watched this regardless. But I did. I do think that we need Mystique, by the way. Yes, yes. I was surprised that like at the end of this season, like that, you know, when Bastion had Val Cooper, I was surprised it didn't turn out to be Mystique. Yeah. For real, I'm just like just waiting and mm-hmm. waiting. She'll be back. She'll be back. Because they could have teased that too, you know, because she could have seen like Nightcrawler and TV and been like Sun or something, you know. Yeah. I don't, like I said, I don't know if they really that that also might be a reason why they don't really want to do Mystique now. Like, that caused a lot of backlash. And I'm just like, bro, grow up. It is what it is. Arthurial intent. Like, I don't know what to tell you. I know. I know. And again, it's like, let a comic get to you like that, bro. If you don't like it, don't read it. Everybody wants to be a hate spewing asshole. Everybody wants Twitter. to. Everybody wants pop culture to be what they want. I just want it to be good. Like, I've been so bored. Like I said, I haven't really been watching TV for the last 10 years. Like, I've just been binging the same stuff over and over again or the new, like, British stuff or something from Australia. Like, American TV has just been yeah. a flop for me. Well, again, we knew this this year was going to kind of be a uh, wasteland because of the strike last year. So A savage land, some would say. Oh. <laughs> I'm a savage. Yeah. Savage. Uh... I, I mean, that- TV though, don't get me wrong, but again, like I haven't seen a lot of good American TV. Like my favorite yeah. show this year so far. I mean, like I like you know the irrational or whatever. It's cute. I like um that that other couple of other shows. Um, but but like the best like new new show that I saw was like Baby Reindeer. So it's on Netflix. I'm, I'm surprised. I usually don't like Netflix TV shows. To be honest. So. Uh, but uh. But I'm surprised that this was so good. I'm I'm yeah. actually shocked, and they have. St- they have so much pressure to be good for the second season. Oh yeah, yeah. And but the second, the second season's already done. Were they kind right? of? I don't know. Were they were they making it as they were making the first season? And I don't know. I heard that when they gave the green light, the first two seasons were already done. So I don't know. We're definitely going to be stretching out the content, but at yeah. least we don't have to worry about like oh yeah, I, they don't have it done or whatever. Yeah, I knew they green. I knew they greenlit too before one even started. But yeah, I, don't, I didn't. Know and they I know they got a third time. for sure. So nice. Well, yeah, I mean, if they do, they... It's a no-brainer. If they did as well as they were saying, yeah. But we need a we need a bigger episode count. I'm sorry to tell you, babes. I know. I mean... 12? I, Can I get 12? I was going to say, yeah. I was going to say, I was going to say, go on to their days of like 22. Yeah, you, you might be able I, to get, I would never even ask for 26 episodes of anything these yeah, days. You might get 12. Supernatural, yeah. when you come back, that means you too. Yeah, 12 or 13, I think is a good number. Eight is bullshit. Ten is, is just slightly more bearable, but like, come on, thirteen. Just, and, then, just and then Daredevil born again. Nine, nine, really? Not eight, not ten. Nine. I think the series premiere might be a two parter, or the oh, finale might be a two parter. Okay, okay. I think that's why that happened. Oh, okay. Just tell me it's ten then. Jeez. Yeah, right. right. Like I said, I feel like they they cut a, a lot. Like the budget got cut. Feige's on a, on a on a choke chain now so well yeah i wouldn't he's... be surprised if within the next couple of years feige's out of there actually he's just been making kind of a lot of mistakes yeah and bob Iger is like people people want his head so he's gonna <laughs> before his head rolls he's gonna make sure everybody else's head roll what new that, I... that lady that cartman bitches about that runs the star wars department mark your days mark your days oh my <laughs> kathleen kennedy <laughs> mark your days mark them <laughs> Well, I knew they were going to run into a problem after Endgame because I'm like, how do you, how do you they follow that up? They should have just let the franchise die. <laughs> Rebooted something. But I'm just like, yeah. They yeah, they should have just been like, okay, this is the end. We're going to wait. We're yeah. going to do Fantastic Four, X-Men. It's going to be something completely not tied to this. We'll start a but new, we'll there was st- so many years in between that that they had to keep the content. I guess. And it's yeah. like, I guess they felt like some content was better than good content. Sorry, Secret Invasion. Yeah. Y'all know I love me some Samuel L. Jackson, but but yeah, no, that's what that should have been a movie. So they could have did pissed me off. They could have wrapped up the original MCU with Endgame, and then yeah, wait a few years and then start a new MCU. But you start with Fantastic Four, not you have them. Yep, Fantastic Four, X Men, mm-hmm. all of that. Yeah, Heck and you-, you know, honestly, it's such a shame. You know, after the chat for Chadwick, I feel like Chadwick could have like that Black Panther franchise with Chadwick as the lead. Could have really been that in between. Oh yeah, with Rob the glue together. Oh yeah, with Robert Downey Jr. gone, yeah, Chadwick Boseman would have been the next guy to hold that. Because even together. the Spider Man movies, people aren't that big a fan of Tom Holland. They're more a fan of Zendaya than Tom. Holland. I hate to say it. I hate to say it. 
And so it's like, even like, it's, it's nice that they have Spider Man, but it's like, the only reason that last movie was slapped was because all three Spider Man were there. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. Think about what the, what what a, what that third Spider Man movie would have been had they not done that. Yeah. It would have been kind of boring. Yeah. Kind of lackluster. Mm-hmm. And so. ag- and again, not every franchise do they have to. We have to start them as a teenager. Okay, jeez. The next men is like one of those few franchises where you definitely you can have some teenagers, but the main characters definitely. Yeah, you can have all ways. Yeah, you can have all ages pretty much. Yeah, but I mean. Like, the- it's a good team, even even if you go outside the classic team and stuff, or even if you like just do like the the the, the modern team slash from the eighties, aka Storm and Wolverine and everybody. Like I, almost every single roster of X Men, you just really can't go wrong with most of the rosters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So even when Scott's the leader, like Scott in the comic books is for the most part, like I feel like they've been making him better lately. Thank God. Yeah, I think they're trying. I, I mean, it's not hard to do. I mean, he was such Ew. a douchebag. Insufferable. Yeah, they're think, I think they're trying to turn him around. I, wa- I just wonder, as we end Krakoa, if they're going to give everyone kind of a soft reboot. Almost. I need yeah. a hard hell. Whoa! <laughs> I need it. I need it burned to the... I need it razzed to the ground. I need the earth to be salted, and I need them to shoot up into another planet that's green with water. Aw, oh, so, you know? salty wants the salty earth. Oh. Yeah. Gorge it. I was going to say, should we do some kind of special either here on Capes uh, for X Men or Uncanny 700? Yeah, let's do it. Because supposedly that's like the, like I guess, the official end of Krakoa, I guess. Couldn't make it to a thousand. What? Hey, well, <laughs> please, let's not drag Krakoa out anymore. It was, what, five, six years? Jeez. It felt like 10, but none of my business. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. R- remind me about our trip. I, I, I'm gonna ask you something after we're off there. Okay, okay. Secret business, kids. Secret, secret business. Well, Saudi and Penny. Stay we'll, tuned for the summer road trip special. <laughs> well, Saudi and Penny visit your town, <laughs> students. You, you know, you know. There's a surefire way to uh, get Saudi and Penny to visit your visit your convention or your town, right? We need the money, gimme, gimme. Have a badass convention with like that's an actual comic book convention. Yes, pop culture convention. Yes, that's what I've really been looking for. Like even Dragon Con has gotten super commercial, unfortunately. So I'm just like, Ugh. I know. There's it's like, so annoying. I mean, I know. It's I like, know. listen, listen. I know Battlestar Galactica actors got to make money, but like, I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. I know. I know. I mean, I guess people have to make money, but it's like, yeah, I, I'm looking for a convention with just comic book centric. You know, with creators. I need an artist. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I know the WWE people need to make money. Uh, you know, they, the third lead on some 70s TV show needs to make money. I get it. At least give me Shatner. At least I, I like his ex-wives. Oh. <laughs> if you know, you know. <sighs> so anyway, yeah. Um, that's about it. Um, do you want to talk any Xbox real quick or anything like that? Um, well... <laughs> We can. I, I'm sure you didn't read it, but uh, not too long ago, it just wrapped up. What was it a few weeks ago? Uh, Fabian uh, was right now. Like it, again, it was only like four or five issues, but a cable series with both versions of Cable, young and old, and it was decent. Oh yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, I think um, Ultimate X Men number three was out this week, right? I think uh, that's the one that was out. I haven't been reading Ultimate X Men. Oh, then oh, X Men Forever number four was out too. Yes. Yes. Well, I, I picked up Ultimate X Men. Um, it's by Peach Mama Coco. Mm-hmm. Um, it's cute. I mean, not not really. I mean, I can understand why you wouldn't pick. Up. It's very. Let's get the girls in here. Let's do some manga type thing. I was gonna say that. Yeah, the art is not my cup of tea, so I don't read it. People, that's that's how you. But do the it. story is solid. But again, yeah. the sh- no no tea, no shade to Peach. It shouldn't be a five dollar book. It's definitely one of those. that should be three ninety nine. And is there any like? familiar x-men characters in that book sometimes okay okay sometimes not all the time but sometimes so i was gonna say i don't know about anyone else but i mean i don't, I don't know that well I, I should say this there's allusions to other characters i don't feel like a lot of the time uh, they come right out and say it so I, was gonna say. I don't i don't really know the deal with it but i think i get it what who it's for okay. i don't know how well it's doing but i i, I hear a lot of I, I this is this is a book that's big on tiktok okay because I know stuff. Well, okay, that's who we're going for. Okay. Yes. That tells you everything you need to know. 
I, I haven't read it yet, but uh, Wolverine Madripoor Knights number four came out. Uh, oh, not Madripoor Knights. I just got flashbacks. I just got flashbacks. Well, again, it's one of those miniseries set in the ni- set in the what, late eighties, nineties. Yeah. Yeah. Around that, around the uh, Uncanny two sixty eight. You know it, kids. When you see it, it's got Captain America, Black Widow, and Wolverine on the cover. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, I think it's Claremont. Yes, yeah, Claremont, right? And it too. So. Oh okay. I'm just. I've kind of just been waiting on the new relaunch. To be honest. Yeah. So. Yeah, they're 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 slowly winding her going. <laughs> also, I just I don't like Miss Marvel being a mutant. So that whole mutant menace thing that they're doing with her, I'm just like. I know. I know. They did. They did it to match the MCU, and then. <laughs> Nobody likes it. Nobody wants it. <sighs> Well, again, in humans are. And isn't the um, I want to say they had like um, didn't they have like the writer from the TV show or something doing it? Some some kind of weird gimmick like that. No, it's um. Oh, what's her face? Uh, who actually plays uh, Miss Marvel? Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I think this is like her second mini series. She's right because there was was there one and then she's writing this one too or something. Well, good for her. Yeah. Good for her. But I, I, just to get off the mutants real quick, Doom number one, please go pick it up. It was um. I wanted to pick it up. It was effing sold out, so I'll probably get it here in a few days or next week. But I This won. is one of those weird ones where it's like $7. I know. I saw that. It was a one shot. Yeah. Yeah. When I can one. get my hands on it, I'm going to get it. <laughs> yeah. It was really good. Did someone say Doom? <laughs> I'm surprised that it wasn't just Hickman doing the art and the story. Oh, really? So, yeah. Like, yeah, usually he kind of likes to do it that way, but. I, I feel like this was a very good collaborative effort. Um, lots of hands in the pot, but not in a bad Hey-o. way. Yeah, this this was a good book. This is my favorite book of the week, honestly. Doom is good, but not good as Octavius. Uh. He may be a college dropout, but he knows he's the king of petty. Sorry, Phil. Oh, no, I bowed to him at my, uh, the petty king. Yeah, no. Him, yeah, Star I, I, that, He's yeah. so interesting when done right. When somebody really cares about Doom is when you get a really good book. And I feel like these two really, like... Like yeah, I like Doom. I don't. I don't like people making fun of Doom. <laughs> I feel like Doom's another Venom where like they want to make him like an antihero and it's just like no, no it no, won't no, work. You gotta let no. him be a villain. Because Bendis kind of did that. And you gotta that? let you gotta let Luke Cage get his twenty bucks. <laughs> ben, Bendis tried it and I was like no, 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 no. no. Maybe in, like an Ultimate Universe somewhere or what if, but not. Well, in the main well, continuity. I think they're gonna kind of do that because you see the next Ultimate book. I think it's Ultimate Avengers and Doom's on there. Yeah. With like Captain America and Thor, yeah, yeah, and Iron <laughs> Lad. Still doing... oh, I was just about to say it's Tony it's Stark, but it's Iron Lad. It's like okay, okay. yeah. Anyway, yeah, well, pretty good. Um, I, Weapon X was also out, but that that looks like a flop for me. Oh, is that the one with all the Wolverines? Yeah, yeah. I haven't been doing that one. Uh, Have you been reading the Wolverine? It's the Phoenix Force, so it's just like yeah. yeah. And then there's like zombies and yeah. Uh, don't pick up some of those at regular Xbox then, because uh, half the half definitely the, like I said, I've been waiting. I'm half like, the people, half the gonna... people are stuck in the white hot room with the Phoenix, and I'm just like, Arr. it just goes on and on, my friend. And, and, and shocker, Xavier is betraying everyone. So for some sweet, sweet superior puss. I don't think he's Probably. even. Getting, I don't think he's even getting superior puss. No. Probably, maybe. He's getting superior right hand. I don't know. That's always his mo, though. Oh yeah. So. Some twisted bitch is behind it. Whoa. My words. Superior puss. Mark them, Philip. I mean, remember during the like, onslaught, I mean, didn't they all come out in the middle like he had a crush on Gene? It's like, oh, God. Exactly. That, that was the exact moment I said, oh, Xavier's a creep. Oh. Playing his day. He's been grooming these kids. I don't like it. So like, it is a, as an evil power. It is. He's been grooming a teenage girl. <laughs> In Cyclops. I'm just saying, if you know, you know. Oh, my. Yeah, that's why you can't really mess with a guy with daddy issues. It's it's bad. (laughs) Anyway. On that note. (laughs) On that note. Let's get out of here. Waka, waka, waka. All right. So next time, next episode, we're finally going to get the parish. (laughs) I know. We keep promising. But, yes, we'll get the parish. I'm Giancarlo Esposito. And then in two weeks, uh... Lilith Hellfire made me aware, and so next week we're going to do another, there's a new South Park special going to be out, uh, the end of obesity. We're going to give you the skinny on it. Hey-o. Oh, because it's all about Ozempic, I guess, yes. Oh, I don't want to see a skinny Cartman. I don't want to see it. I'm scared. I'm scared, Phil. Is it going to be like the Fat Camp episode where he just like pays someone to pretend to be him or something? Something. 
<laughs> or no, it's gonna be it's gonna be like he's gonna take an Ozempic, but then he's like eating more and more. He's like, why did I lose a weight? Ah! <laughs> no, Ozempic takes its pound of flesh. All you have to do is take it once, and it stays working for. You, a long you know, time. it's gonna be someone's gonna get all skinny, but then their faces are all gonna be all shrunken oh, yeah, up and stuff. So, yeah. Sorry, Sharon Osbourne, we're actually not talking about you. Oh. She's like the spokesperson for what can go wrong at, uh, with Ozempic, though. Have you have you been keeping up with that? No, I haven't seen that. Now I'm not. Yeah, it's kind of sad. It's like, babe, you weren't even fat. Mm-mm. And like, you're not even on TV anymore. So what are you doing? Now, like, anytime anyone gets skinny in Hollywood, I mean, even if they put it in the you work, can tell everyone, it's the yeah. it's the jawline. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Gives them that handsome Squidward look. Um, in case you aren't a '90s kid, I will. And you're on. Um, I was gonna say Christina Aguilera's all skinny now. Is she on Ozempic? I have not, um, I've not peered into that. Um, Who's the other one? I heard Katy Perry. I think slimmed down some. That's probably just something. Oh, true. The, oh, the, uh, the old-fashioned way surgery. Huh? <laughs> yes. Yeah, exactly. I can't, anyway, you can Google handsome Squidward. That's what everybody looks like now, and it's creepy, and I don't like. <laughs> no, sir, I don't like it. All so, right. Yeah. All right, so here we go. Parish next week. Then we're going to do the South Park uh, special. And then for the anniversary, we're going to squeeze it in at the end of June. Alien. <laughs> hey, Ray, feel free to send in some feedback or anybody else that is on that podcast. What, the Predator podcast? <laughs> yeah, I mean, they fight each other. So technically, it's in the same universe. Yeah, Ray. And how about for 2025? We plan a big uh, crossover with. Uh... Don't push your luck. So yeah, sure. all I know is his we'll co-host. We do that ourselves, Phil. His co-host. And we're gonna get a little. We're gonna get a little iPad with a fake Ray Ray. It's gonna be like footage from I his guess. damn podcast, uh, his YouTube channel. Oh, I guess. Uh, I guess we'll we'll only be able to get like. And Justin. it's just gonna be. I love Batman. That's we'll, it. We'll be able to get every other host of that show, but Ray. Batman, my favorite yeah. character. Why is he afraid to come on? Into the dark night, all to do with Batman. I'll just play these clips, Ray, so you better come on. Exactly. I'm saying Batman. get an iPad with a picture of Ray and then just do the drops. Uh, yeah, come on, Ray. Gobble, gobble. All right. Exactly. So, yes, and then after Alien, we'll, we will get to Star Trek Discovery because little, little Hellfire's uh, torture will not go in vain. <laughs> yeah, I finished it. hey Unfortunately. hey you uh, strange new world. I don't think it, I don't think Discovery's over yet. What are you talking about? You finished it. I finished it. Oh, oh Arg. <laughs> Arg, maybe. All aboard. Oh my. Shwa- talk about Schwab in the poop deck. Hey, oh, I was gonna say I don't think it's even out uh, on the uh, Paramount yet. The whole thing. So okay. <laughs> poop deck. All right. So fine. Oh, that's who I want to reach out to. Although he'll probably never come on. Uh, An- Anson Mount, hail. <laughs> yeah, we we need that. My first... podcasters got to stick together. Yeah, Hanson. come on. My first question: How long does it take them to do your hair? <laughs> Don't be jealous. No, I'm not. I am jealous, but I'm just saying. No, come on. I'm like that. That's the best head of hair in Starfleet. How long does it take them to do that hair every episode? He'll give you the the Jared Padalecki answer. Oh, I just roll out of bed like this. I just run my hands through it. And we're done. But like, I don't know how far. I, I think, don't even own a brush or a comb. He's probably like, no, nah, I don't know. I just take a nap. All right. So, yes. So send us your thoughts on X Men ninety seven and what you think of the season. Where's it going? And uh, send us your thoughts on all, yeah, all the upcoming stuff. Parish, Alien, Discovery, if you will. Uh, South Park. Uh, email us capes and lunatics at gmail dot com <clears throat> or salty and petty sixty nine at gmail <laughs> Because I'm not the only one. I know with... it's X Men. It's confusing. I know. <laughs> because because I'm not the only one with issues. Sorry and Penny sixty nine at gmail I almost uh, I almost uh, texted you yesterday because in the afternoon it was at it was sixty nine degrees. <laughs> nice. So yeah, salty and petty sixty nine at gmail.com or call the voicemail six one four three eight two two seven three seven. And, of course, you can find all things Capes and Lunatics, episodes, social media, merchandise. Get your new Capes and Lunatics, all your new logos, and all the new merch. So, don't be an old man like Gray and stick to the past. Although, you can if you want. Also, if you got any good con recommendations, send them in. Yes, yes. What's the best comic you're reading that can hold up a couch? Uh, so, yes, yeah, so, yes, buy merch. And, again, uh... We have the Cash App link if you want to be generous and uh, help. Comic books ain't cheap, help. 
That's right. We don't get free uh, free review copies. <coughs> Marvel DC image. Uh, but yes. anybody really? Uh, yeah, any, anyone, please. Uh, you can always uh, rain random money on us through the catch up link. Uh, yes, treat us. We're we're. Uh, she looks like she was just working a f-ing stripper pole down at Divas. We are so please rain money on us. Uh, <laughs> make it rain. Make it rain. And of course, the Patreon, where we don't even know what we're doing half the time. Well, if we have to pick a May episode. Uh, <laughs> I know. I was waiting for feedback, but they always disappoint. Oh, please. Ray's busy playing with himself on YouTube. So, uh, <laughs> what's Justin doing? What's Russell doing? <laughs> you don't want to do what Russell's doing. I don't Russell's know what Russell's doing. <laughs> you don't want to know what Russell's doing. <laughs> I'd let Burt Reynolds. F- you don't want to know what's going on oh down there. My. <laughs> He's cradling my nuts. At least tell I me something around about the rim. The what? Please tell me something about Smokey and the Bandit. Oh my! I licked around the rim of Ronald Reagan's keister. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to know. Just in the background. I know. <laughs> I know. It's too much. All right. So yeah. So. Uh, Subscribe to the Patreon. I don't know what you're going to get, but you'll always get angry Lilith Hellfire. So, uncensored Lilith Hellfire. Off the wall. Off her, Sober Lilith is angry. Lilith. Off, off her meds Lilith Hellfire. So, find it all at tubespace.io slash Capes and Lunatics Podcast Network. That's tubespace.io slash Capes and Lunatics Podcast Network. More vicious and brutal than ever. I'm going to eat this up with a fork and spoon. All right, and you can catch Granny on uh, Facebooks, right? Yes. And she's on TikTok, but she won't tell you where she's at, so suck it. Wait, if you do friend me on Facebook, um, can you just, or anybody, just, what the hell is Battlestar Galactica about? I, it, it, it's numbing my brain. It's, it's Let me know. <laughs> Are you watching it? <laughs> yeah, the, the 2000s version, not the 70s version. Like Caprica specifically, like let me know. Like, oh my lord! Oh my lord! This is a smart woman. Oh my lord! If she's not getting it, oh, it's I, bad. It's I bad. I ain't watching it. Then I don't if, know. Everybody's like, oh, Bell Star Galactica's one. No, it's not. If you can't get it, I I ain't sure as hell ain't watching it. Well, I'll stick. I'll stick to uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm. It's like it's like so many mini series and like it's just uh, weird. Yeah. It's one of those things. It's it's <clears> weird. Explain it to me. Explain it to me like I'm five. Oh my. Uh all right, so yes, find us, love us, send us money. Uh, oh, I know you guys are waiting for a little hellfire drops. That's right. Let me get a ride on your alligator back, bro. I just want to have fun on a broom. So here you have four months to go. Oh my, yeah, uh, <laughs> half a year down, half a year to go. <laughs> and shut your filthy mouth. Uh, that's right, kids. That's right, boys. Get ready. Get ready. <laughs> uh, it's coming in uh six months. <laughs> Uh, shut up and just lay there in six months. Oh, party in the front and the back. Okay, crazy. All right. Thank you for joining us. Next time we're gonna talk parish, and then the new South Park, the end of obesity. I could just see. Matt was, or uh, Trey was probably watching TV. I was like, <gasps> oh, that was epic cast. Did, did you watch the trailer yet? No. Oh, I gotta go watch that now. All right, kids, come back next time. To me, my caves and lunatics. That's right. Sidekicks. Magneto was right. <laughs>